This is Justina Otswene, a 300-level student of the University of Port Harcourt. She was reported missing about a week ago and now she has been confirmed dead and her body is already in the mortuary as we speak. The most shocking part about the story is her dead body was found in a Ghana must go at her own boyfriend's house and the worst part of it all, there are missing body parts. Now her boyfriend Damian Okoligwe was also a student of that same university and he was in 400 level. It is said that the police got a report from one of his neighbors whose name was withheld saying that he visited Damien only to perceive a foul smell coming from his apartment and out of fear he immediately ran to the police to make a report. When the police got to his house they had to forcefully enter and break his door and found the dead body in a Ghana Moscow. They ended up arresting the fleeing boyfriend and right now he's in the police custody. Some people are also speculating that the guy was actually a Yahoo boy who was parading himself as a content creator. Not only that, there are also those who believe that they had actually broken up two weeks ago before this particular incident. So there are still lots of things that are not clear to the public at the moment. You can't dull my shine. At all. You can't dull my sparkle. At all. You can't dull my shine. At all. Hey guys. The finest girl you see today. No cap. <laughs> Ever. Hey, <laughs> hey. You did hot though. A lady that was killed by her boyfriend for ritual purposes is already being blamed by a lot of abnormal people in this country and honestly I'm not surprised because I've already noticed the pattern. Anytime something like this happens, the woman is always to be blamed. And that is why in as much as we cannot be too careful, we should at least try our best to protect ourselves as women, knowing fully well the kind of country we found ourselves in. I remember making a video last year talking about how most of these guys you see that you think are Yahoo boys are basically ritualists, organ harvesters, you know, probably even drug pushers, but only few of them are actually into the so-called scamming that you would think. And many of them might start out as scammers, but before you know what's happening, they notice that ah, scamming is a full-time job, but it's very, very hard, it's not easy to do. Then they see that ah, it's not something they can keep up with because how many people are even easy to scam these days even the people abroad are not even that easy to scam again so right now a lot of them have switched into other things especially rituals the amount of hate i got for that video you guys will not believe it i even had to delete that video because a lot of them are even reporting that particular video and right now it seems a lot of people are beginning to understand what i was saying that's tag yahoo boy is just a code word is an umbrella that covers all manner of people doing different kinds of things not all of them are scammers and scamming itself is not even good it's very very important for women especially to know this because you can see how they are blaming that girl a girl that dated her boyfriend for three good years and as far as i'm concerned i have not really seen where the girl is at fault honestly three good years you guys want to tell me that when she started dating that guy three years ago he had money as a student i highly doubt it it's quite obvious that when they started dating the guy didn't have any money even now that the girl is dead he doesn't even look as though he even has that much money that people are busy shouting oh you put that leave broke guys and be following rich men as it make that makes no sense broke guys are also using women to do rituals hello you didn't know wake up from your sleep there are lots of people these days that maybe the girls started dating them when, when they were broke before you know what's happening societal pressure as people call it now and all these things they want to feel among they want to be able to flaunt cars they want to be able to carry all manner of babes that they want before you know what's happening who will they use for a ritual that's girlfriend that was with them when they were broke yes people are getting more heartless by the day and you think it's only women they're using no welcome to the century where almost everybody now is a target for those of you that will say oh women these women that oh is it because it's women's own that is on the news on the daily do you know how many kids they might be using do you know how many men too they have because so men will say oh it doesn't happen do you think it doesn't happen to men too do you know how many men they might be using what's about family members those are using their family members their mothers fathers brothers and sisters 
their brother's children what about them oh you didn't you didn't know that we are back to that era those things you used to watch in hollywood movies they are back oh the amount of poverty and societal pressure in the country now has brought back all these evils this time around with full force and the worst part it is mostly youths that are engaging in these activities if you like keep clapping for these people and blaming the victims until it reaches your doorstep because anytime something like this happened i've hardly seen people talking about oh how do we end this thing called money rituals in this country how do we stop people from doing things like this what are we going to do to tackle this issue i've not seen people talking about it though it's always oh the woman this the woman that and that is a proof that this thing is not going to stop anytime soon instead it's going to increase because one thing about this thing is when there's so much poverty and people notice that oh it's like this thing is not really being talked about much it's like people are even in support of them before it not happening even those that have no interest in doing something like that who go and do something like that because they feel that once something like this happens nobody will even point hands at them except they are caught if they are if they are caught then that's when they'll not carry them and put them inside prison but if they are not caught people will just be applauding whoever it was that killed a young girl simply because they think the young girl was pursuing men for money so i'll say it again women protect yourself this video is not even for men because i know a lot of men have obviously made it clear that they don't care because they think they are not targets so as a woman you know fully where you have no protection in this country protect yourself always tell people that love your family members where you are going it's very very important and if you are dating somebody the person should be aware that your people know in fact your people should be aware of who you are dating as far as i'm concerned they should know who you are dating even if it's a student relationship no matter they should know who you are dating so that if anything is to happen tomorrow he will be one of the first people they will call especially if they know that oh you went to his house because things are going on these days a lot of people are wicked people are wicked and a lot of people are enabling these wicked people a lot of people are giving them morale to do more now you are seeing it shine your eyes oh because as a woman it's, in fact, as a woman, it seems you are the only person that can protect yourself in this country. People are not really, even there are women that don't even care. There are women that don't care about, there are women that are even supporting people like this. Maybe because if their brother is the one doing it or their sons are the ones doing it. So don't think women too are your, on your side because there are women that will never be on your side. And also, stop dating people you think are scammers. Those people you tagged, scammers, stop dating them. Scamming is not even good and you are not even sure they are scammers. You might be their next money back. You might be their next victim. The next person they are going to kill and gorge out the eyes and, you know, parts. You might be their next victim. Stop dating men you don't know their source of income too. If you don't know somebody's source of income, stop dating that person. Don't even think of dating that person. Money is not everything. You might lose your life in the process because you think you want to date somebody that is, that is, you know, well to do and all that thing. Things are happening. And even if you are dating a broke person, it's not every broke person you should date. Avoid people that are lazy. I've said it before. It's not about rich or poor. Lazy people are lazy people. Lazy man are lazy man. If a lazy man gets the opportunity to start doing money rituals, my dear, he is gonna do it. Some of them have even used their girlfriends and their girlfriends don't even know. It's not killing that is the only form of doing rituals now. And some of them, they have used their girlfriends whom their girlfriends are just walking empty vessels. So, on that note, he's broke or he's not broke. Or avoid lazy man. Avoid lazy people. Yes, avoid lazy people. And even those your friends that are women, there are women too that also gang up on their friends to do things like this. There are women that provide their female friends as victims for sharks like this. So be careful with your female friends too. I'm saying this because if you are very observant in this country, you should know by now that things are not stable. You are the only one that can actually protect yourself. If you know that, ah, your family know to get money to go to fight court case even if they have the money to fight court case my dear by that time you might, might be long gone and dead what is the essence of it again everybody be shouting for justice 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 just right now how many people have you seen getting justice in this country think about it also let me quickly add this if you are dating a guy and you suddenly observe some strange movements maybe you notice that uh, it's like this guy is about to start something like this or you notice he's now hanging out with people who are into shady businesses please it is now time to break up because the time he will soon use you 
might be coming might be near then those friends might pressure him into using you to do money rituals and before you know what is happening you are dead because this guy in question i don't really think he was into stuff like that when they first started dating it might have been after they started dating he now decided to go into such businesses because they are both students they are both young and i don't think three years ago he has started something like three years ago this thing was not even that rampant yahoo yahoo was not even such a rampant thing three years ago it's so of recently he became so popularized that if someone is not into it people will not be looking at the person like the person is not serious with his or her life anyway don't forget to like and subscribe bye